And well, as you're well aware, with Sinovimate, the approval originally came from two double-blind placebo-controlled trials, uh, which had very good uh, efficacy in the 55, 56% median percent seizure reduction. And then there was a, a long-term open-label uh, safety and pharmacokinetic study of 1,340 patients from uh, around the world. We then did some post hoc analyses, and this is from the post hoc analysis. What happened was that we looked at the sites in the United States uh, that had put on 11 or more patients onto the Synovimate study. So there were 10 sites, uh, 240 uh, patients uh, for this particular study. And what we were doing was looking at the maintenance phase of the study. Uh, and what happened was you started out titrating Synovimate at 12 and a half milligrams for two weeks, then 25 milligrams for two weeks, 50 milligrams for two weeks, and then you could go up by, continue to go up by 50 milligrams every two weeks, aiming for 200 milligrams, but you could go as high as, as uh, 400 milligrams with it. And what we were looking at is any three month period uh, for 50% uh, reduction and 100% seizure reduction. We looked for this study at many parameters, uh, obviously age, sex, race. We looked at number of seizures per month, less than three seizures per month, greater than three seizures per month. We looked at concomitant anti-seizure medications. We looked whether they had had previous seizure surgery, whether they had, uh, 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 how many years they had, had been uh, on uh, uh, on uh, uh, any anti-epileptic drug had had seizures. Uh, and we looked at whether they had focal to bilateral tonic-clonic seizures. If you took this population, it was a fairly intractable group. About a third had had uh, previous seizure surgery. 59% had had uh, focal to bilateral tonic-clonic seizures, at least by, uh, by history uh, at some particular time. So we looked at, at all of those entities. We looked at how many people had greater than 50% reduction, had 100% uh, uh, reduction with this. And if you take this, this whole combination of folks, uh, first, 88% uh, got uh, uh, 50, greater than 50% reduction in seizures for any three-month period during the maintenance. And again, started with 240, and then there, were there was a 12-week uh, titration, and then the maintenance phase had 214 patients in it. Of those 214 patients, 80 percent uh, had 88 percent had had 50 uh, percent greater than 50 percent reduction in their seizures for any three months, and that was the same whether you were less than three seizures a month or greater than three seizures a month. For the 100 percent reduction, it was actually about 68 percent uh, were uh, seizure-free for any uh, three-month period, and there was interesting because it was about. Uh, if you take that 68%, about 80% were in the less than three seizure per month range, and uh, about 54% uh, were, were in the greater than three seizures per month range. What we also looked at, by the way, which was probably one thing I left out when we first started, was that we looked at uh, defined daily dose. And that's probably one of the most important parts of the study. What happens with defined daily doses, the World Health Organization looks at what is the, uh, the usual for that particular drug. For example, if you took levetiracetam, it's 1,500 milligrams a day. If you were uh, on 4,500 milligrams a day, that's a defined daily dose, then you're at three. You're three times. Topiramate, say, is 300 milligrams a day. If you're on 300, that counts as a one. If you're on leucosamide, 300 milligrams a day is the defined daily dose. If you're on 300, that'd be a one. If you're on 600, that's a two. The reason that that's so important is that the, the, what we found with the Sinovac was we were able to reduce a number of the medications. And that's so important uh, because if you take patients, patients, we often talk about being on one to three concomitant anti-seizure meds. But the patient often talks about whether he's taking uh, 20 pills, 30 pills, how many can fill in my pill box. And so it's important not only to get patients off of drugs, but to reduce uh, the medications they're on. And so what we found was that, again, the two factors with the 50% reduction there, it didn't matter whether you're less than three or greater than three seizures per month, uh, they had about 88%. When you looked at 
the, uh, the folks that were 100% reduced, that's where the less than three and the greater than three uh, came into play. The two factors that were probably most important in the study were one being on, say, less than three seizures a month, and the other was the defined daily dose, being able to, to lower your uh, concomitant anti-seizure medicines. And that's so important, you know, because folks often think in the beginning when a drug like, uh, like Sinovimate comes out, they say, uh, you know, we, we use it on our worst of the worst patients. Well, it does great on those worst of the worst patients, but it does even better on the less intractable patients. They're the ones that, you know, in other words, the guy who has one or two seizures a month, one every three months, uh, those are the ones we can get even higher numbers. You'll do great on the very intractable, but you, you'll probably do almost twice as, as well for, for that uh, grouping of patients, those that are the, the less than three, those where we can uh, you know, lower the concomitant meds, uh, et cetera.